Hello, welcome back. In the previous video, I showed you how you can collect user data using the streamlit inputs. We looked at the text input, area input, number input, the slider, and then the selector. And that's basically what we will need in general in data science project to collect your data. So as you can see here, uh, everything is stacked all together and it can get quite messy if you have more filters. So how can we organize all these selector in the app so that we can group them together on a sidebar? And this sidebar can be collapsed and it will be also responsive on mobile devices. So it's very simple and it's very easy to add. On each widget, you'll have to add a sub method. Oh, I don't know how we can call it, but uh, you can change the method by adding sidebar to every widget. And basically, if you hit save on these three widgets, you can see that they get collapsed inside a sidebar and you can choose to hide the sidebar if you want by pressing this button. So I will do the same thing for the others. Sidebar, sidebar and sidebar. So now everything is inside my sidebar. This element, we can call them the controller. And what we can see here is the main output of our app. So basically what we want to print on the screen. Okay, so let me erase this section. Basically uh, all the printing. Okay, so in this section and in this video, I will show you how we can organize your output, your layout. Uh, using columns. Columns are very important if you want to organize uh, your media, your what you display in the app in meaningful section. Uh, so for example, let's say that in the first column, I want two columns. And in the first one, I want to display, for example, my name, my job, and my uh, age. And on the second column, I want to display uh, a threshold, the threshold value, let's say, and the availability to work. So this, very, this is very easy to do. And to create columns, you have to call the beta column. Actually, it's in beta mode, so it might be changing in the future. So that's, what, that's why they call it this way. So now I have to specify a tuple inside the uh, beta colon method. And basically the tuple, the length of the tuple will be the number of columns and the size that we put inside, the numbers that we put inside these tuples uh, are basically the ratio, the size ratio between the subsequent columns. Let's say it like this. So if I put one, one, I will have two columns of equal size. So if you put it, if you put two, two, it will be the same thing this is because the ratio is the same. If I put, for example, one, two, it means that the uh, second column is twice as big as the first one. And we can try this out directly on the interface. So I will have two columns. So it will be a list of two columns. And if I want to display some data inside one of these columns, it's very easy. We can use the with the context manager with columns. You have to specify the index of the column you want to use. So I want to use the first column. And inside this context manager, we can plot some data. So I want to plot my name. So let's use markdown name equal name. I want to plot my job and then print my H. Okay. So H. Okay. So this is the first column. Now, if I want to uh, use the second column, so with columns one, uh, I can print, for example, the availability for work available for work. So let's say, okay, is available for work. Okay. 
So now I have two separate columns that I can uh, print uh, here. If I want to change, for example, the ratio, I want the first column to be twice as big. So as you can see, uh, we have more space here because we have selected uh, a larger uh, container for this section. Okay. So imagine now that uh, you don't want uh, columns, you just want a container that will hold uh, everything you need. Uh, so it's uh, very simple, you can uh, specify a container by calling the beta uh, container uh, method. So this container uh, won't need any uh, parameter. And then inside this container, with this same context manager, you can uh, use some uh, data you can use it to print some data so let's say for example i want to print a paragraph okay so if i want to separate these two columns uh, by a line i can add a line here so i want i will put this line just after the two columns so I have my two columns here, I have a line, and then I have a container inside this section. Okay, Streamlit uh, provides also some collapser or expander, we can say it like this. So uh, the expander are very useful if you want to display or hide some data. Usually you can use it to uh, display some uh, information. So let's see how to do this, expander. So expander, I can use it by calling the beta expander uh, method. And then I can specify a label to learn more, for example. Okay. And then if you want to use the expander, as you can see, you have it here. Now inside this expander, we don't have anything. So, so we can specify uh, some data inside this expander. So with expander, I will uh, plot uh, some information, uh, some information here. Okay, so by default, the expander is uh, not collapsed. So if I want it to be collapsed, I can change the default attribute to true and it will be collapsed. Yeah, so that's it for this video. Uh, it will help you organize, better organize your layout in meaningful section, and then uh, uh, make your app responsive by using the columns, the uh, containers, and then finally the uh, expander to plot uh, additional data if you want. So uh, thank you guys for watching. In the next video, I will show you how you can uh, wrap your app and uh, deploy it directly to Heroku so that it gets uh, live on the internet and you can share it with other people. Uh, see you in the next video.